I hope your brain is ready for some fun and a little bit of exercise because we are going to learn about multiplication. That's right, multiplication. No wonder this owl is excited. Multiplication is awesome and it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So let's roll right into this, starting with a question. What is multiplication? Hmm, well, multiplication is when you have a number a certain number of times. For example, a standard bike has two wheels, but if there are two bikes, then you have the number two, two times. In other words, two times two. That's multiplication. This X tells us we're multiplying. The number two, two times, is the same as two plus two. It's the number two twice. How many wheels are there in all? What's two times two? Yeah, four. Two times two equals four. There are four wheels in all. You know, a motorcycle has two wheels also. Whoa, here are three motorcycles. To find the total number of wheels, we have the number two three times. Two times three. Two times three is the same as two plus two plus two. It's the number two three times. What is two times three? Yeah, six. There are six wheels in all. Two times three equals six. There are a total of six wheels when you have three motorcycles. Great job. Ah, cookies. Yeah, let's practice multiplication with cookies next. Let's say a store sells boxes of cookies. There are three cookies in each box, and someone buys three of these boxes of cookies to enjoy with some friends. Now, to figure out how many cookies there are in all, you would multiply the three cookies times three, because there are three boxes. Three times three. This is the same as three plus three plus three. It's the number three, three times. What is three times three? Uh-huh, nine. Awesome! Three times three equals nine. That means there are nine cookies in all. Three cookies, three times, means there are nine cookies. We could even count the cookies to double check. Three cookies, three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three times three equals nine. I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of my videos, but I love basketball. It's my favorite sport. I was obsessed with basketball as a kid and collected basketball cards. Actually, I still have my basketball cards. I keep them in my office and still look at them from time to time. They're really cool. Now, why am I sharing this? Well, when you collect cards, you're used to using multiplication. Let's say a new series of basketball cards has six cards in every pack. Every pack has six cards. And I have enough money to buy three of these packs. To find out how many cards I'm getting in all, we have to multiply six times three. It's the number six three times. This is the same as six plus six plus six. It's the number six multiplied times three. What is six times three? Yeah, 18, great. Six times three equals 18. I'm getting a total of 18 cards. We can just double check that real quick. Six times three means we have the number six three times, which is the same as six plus six plus six. Six plus six equals, uh-huh, 12, yeah. And 12 plus one more six is 18, yeah. Six times three equals 18. Let's try another one. What is eight times one? What is eight times one? Yeah, eight. Eight times one equals eight. Now, why is that? Well, if you have the number eight just one time, you just have eight. Actually, any time you multiply a number times one, the answer is that number. 
Going back to bikes, you know that a bike has two wheels. If you have one bike, to find the total number of wheels using multiplication, you could multiply two times one. Two wheels, once. The number two, just one time. And what's two times one? Yeah, two. Two times one equals two. If you multiply any number times one, the answer is that number. For example, nine times one equals nine. It's nine just one time. 12 times one equals 12. It's the number 12 one time. 100 times one equals what? Uh-huh, 100. It's 100 just one time. Great. Let's give this one a shot. Seven times zero. What do you think seven times zero is? Yeah, zero. But why is that? Well, if you have a number zero times, you have zero. Seven times zero equals zero. Seven times zero means the number seven zero times. The answer is zero. Whenever you multiply a number times zero, the answer is zero. One times zero equals zero. It's the number one zero times. Five times zero equals zero. It's the number five zero times. Ten times zero equals zero. What is one million times zero? You got it, zero. Awesome job. Aw, look at these puppies. Come over here, puppies. We're gonna practice more multiplication. Come on. Hey, let's try this one. What is four times two? Hmm. What is four times two? Yeah, eight. Four times two equals eight. Great job. Four times two is the number four two times. This is the same as four plus four. It's two fours. And two fours equals eight. Four times two equals eight. Okay, let's try five times three. What is five times three? Hmm. Yes, 15. Five times three equals 15. Sweet. Five times three is the number five three times. This is the same as five plus five plus five. It's three fives. Five plus five equals 10, plus another five is 15. Five times three equals 15. Next, let's try one times four. What is one times four? Uh-huh, four, very cool. One times four equals four. If you have the number one, four times you have four. You might have picked up on this already, but with multiplication, the order of what you are multiplying doesn't matter. The answer is the same. Four times one equals four. One times four equals four. If you flip the four and the one, the answer is the same. The answer is four. I'll show you with pizzas, okay? Let's say there's going to be a big party, right? And a pizza place has a four pizza deal. It's a special deal that gets you four whole pizzas at a lower price per pizza. You get one four pizza deal. It's four times one. The number four, once. Four times one equals four. So you have four pizzas. Now, if you flip the order and switch the one and four, the answer is the same. See, this is the same as if you multiplied one pizza four times. That would be one times four equals four. Both work. You can flip these numbers in multiplication and the answer stays the same. Oh, it's question time. It's question time. I have a question for you. What is the answer to a multiplication problem called? Hmm, what is the answer to a multiplication problem called? Yeah, the product. The answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. For example, five times two equals 10. 10 is the answer, so it's called the product. Zero times six equals zero. Zero is the answer, so zero is the product. The answer to a multiplication problem is called the product.
Let's go ahead and look at a few more. What is 3 times 4? Hmm, what is 3 times 4? Yeah, 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. Phenomenal job! And as we just learned, 12 is the product. It's the answer to this multiplication problem. 3 times 4 means we have the number 3 4 times. It's the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. The number 3 4 times. 3 plus 3 equals 6, so each of these pairs equals 6. And what's 6 plus 6? Yeah, 12. That means 3 times 4 equals 12. Wow, we're in Egypt! That's pretty cool! That's pretty cool! Let's try 5 times 6. What is 5 times 6? Hmm, what is 5 times 6? Uh-huh, 30! Very cool! 5 times 6 equals 30. <laughs> this is a big answer, isn't it? 5 times 6 is the number 5 6 times. To double check this, we can count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5 times 6 equals 30. Great job! 30 is the product, the answer to this multiplication problem. Okay, here's the last one. What is 10 times 7? Hmm. What is 10 times 7? Yeah, 70! Awesome! 10 times 7 equals 70. This can be illustrated using dimes because dimes are worth 10 cents. 10 times 7 means the number 10 7 times. Each dime is worth 10 cents and there are 7 of them here. 10 times 7. To check our answer, we can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 10 times 7 equals 70. 70 is the product. Wow, you did an incredible job learning about multiplication. I'm so proud of you. Next time you come across multiplication, you can get super excited just like this owl because you get it. You know how it works. Keep building up your skills. Multiplication is really cool. And so are you. Thanks for learning with me. I hope you had a fun time exploring multiplication. If you enjoyed this and haven't yet, take a moment and subscribe. I have tons of learning videos. I want to give a very special thank you to my patrons. Your support means the world to me. And thank you for watching. You are awesome. You are. And I can't wait to see you next video. Wait, are we just going to pretend we didn't see a dog skateboarding in this video? Um, that's impressive, okay? Oh my goodness! I wonder if Mr. Whiskers can skateboard. Hmm, I should, I should ask him. I'll, I'll ask him. Just, just in case, you know. Just in case.